Good morning, boys and girls. It's so good to have story time together again. And the story I'm gonna to read today is about the wise king. Wise means very smart. King Solomon loved God so much and God spoke to him in a dream. Ask for anything you want, God said. There's King Solomon, he's lying in his bed and there's his crown. He laid his crown up on the bedpost, didn't he? King Solomon answered, Give me wisdom so that I will know the difference between right and wrong. Now God was so pleased with Solomon's answer. I will give wisdom to you, God said, and I will also give you riches and honor. King Solomon was wiser than any other person. He spoke 3,000 proverbs. That means wise sayings. A proverb is a wise saying. He said 3,000 of those. And he also wrote a thousand songs. So he knew many, many things. And he also knew a lot of things about plants and animals. King Solomon was famous. People from all over the world came to see him. This is Queen of Sheba. She came to see King Solomon because she had some questions she wanted to ask him. So King Solomon and Queen of, of Sheba met and she asked him all the questions that she wanted to, and King Solomon answered all of her questions. Then the queen said, you are truly a wise king. May the Lord your God be praised. Now King Solomon also had a lot of workers that worked for him, and he had them build a temple for God. When the temple was finished, it was beautiful. King Solomon planned a big, big celebration or a big party so they could celebrate the building of this temple. All the people of Israel came to see the temple. They were very happy to have a new place to worship. They all said, God is good. His love lasts forever. Remember the song we sang several times? God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. Isn't that a wonderful song? And also I have a finger play that we can do today. And we're just going to go through the uh, story just one more time real quickly. And then we're going to do the finger play at the end. And you can copy exactly what I do with my hands. David had a son named Solomon. Solomon grew up and he married the daughter of the Pharaoh of, Ur of Egypt. In a dream, the Lord appeared to Solomon. What do you want me to give you? Asked the Lord. How kind, O oh Lord my God, said Solomon. I'm so young and I don't know anything about being a king. Please give me a discerning heart and I, so that I can be a really good king, a discerning heart so that he would know right from wrong. And that's what Solomon said, will you help me learn to know what is right and what is wrong? God was very happy and Solomon, with Solomon's answer, you did not ask for gold or for a long life. I will give you what you asked for. I will give you long life and you will be a great king. And then Solomon woke up and he realized that he had been dreaming. But guess what? Solomon's dream came true. He was one of the greatest, wisest kings of all. Now we're gonna do a little finger play and you copy what I do and we'll, we'll do this about King Solomon. Solomon asked, can you make your fist like this and then put your hand over it? Solomon asked, the Lord for wisdom. He did not ask for gold or jewelry or riches. And I shall give you all things, said the Lord. You did not ask for gold or riches, but I will give you all things, said the Lord, said the Lord. Want to do it one more time? Solomon asked the Lord for wisdom. He did not ask for gold or jewelry or riches. I shall give you all things. I shall give you wisdom. 
and gold and riches, said the Lord, said the Lord. Would you like to say a little prayer with me this morning before we go? Dear God, thank you for King Solomon and thank you for what he asked for. We also ask for a discerning heart so that we will know what is right and what is wrong. We know you are so good, Lord, and we praise your name. Amen.